What's going on guys? So here in this box is a PlayStation TV that I bought from eBay and this is a funny little device. Uh, basically, a little bit of background. This thing came out in October of 2014, at least in the US, and it was discontinued in 2015, so it kind of tells you what kind of device it was. It wasn't very popular. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty small. I mean, here's a PS3 controller, and just a comparison, I mean the PS3 controller is pretty sizable compared to the box. And basically, you plug in power, plug in your HDMI cable into your TV, and you can play some PS Vita games. You can, I think there's some streaming apps, and you can also use it for remote play from your PS3 or PS4. So yeah, we're gonna unbox this thing, uh, kind of take a look at it, test it out, and basically see what it's like to play the PS TV in uh, 2021. So real quick before you unbox this thing, let me give you some details from the listing. So basically, um, I paid about 200 bucks for it, which is the that's the craziest part. Is this thing only sold for 100 bucks retail, and I'm paying double for it now kind of how things go sometimes though and this one is technically used but it comes in the original box with all the accessories and stuff so it should be a pretty authentic unboxing experience um, now I've never actually owned one of these so I'm pretty excited to open this thing up and kind of take a look at it so let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's inside all right got some bubble wrap looks packaged pretty well let's go ahead and I guess slide the bubble wrap out if it'll come out and it looks like the box is coming with it too. All right guys, so we got it all the way out. Here is the PlayStation TV box. So as you can see, it's a pretty small looking black unit. It looks pretty sleek, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it looks kind of like a Roku device or Apple TV device, something like that. Um, as you can see here, it says memory card for the PS Vita system is sold separately and is required for some game downloads. Um, and you can also use a DualShock 3 or 4. Um, so I actually have a DualShock 3 that I'm going to try out. Might try a 4 as well. Um, we'll see. Pretty standard PlayStation packaging. Looks about like everything else to do with the PlayStation 4 era. Now here in the back, it says it's compatible with Remote Play for the PS4, um, DualShock 4, DualShock 3, PlayStation Now. And it should come with the PlayStation TV, system, HDMI, cable, AC adapter, AC power cord, printed materials. So I think it comes with everything in here. Um, I think they said the HDMI cable is not the OEM one, but not a big deal so okay right here it tells us how to set it up so number one plug it in number two connect to the network and number three play so let's go ahead and try it out see what we've got inside yeah I mean it's, it's just like the PS4 boxing it looks just like a PS4 box except it's smaller and then it has the little internal white box just like the PS4 has the PS5 actually has this as well and here we go so first thing we got in here is the HDMI cable got our AC adapter um, and then our power cord, so basically the power cord plugs into the AC adapter and then it provides power to the system. Got our little manuals and stuff, so we've got a quick start guide. I'm not going to be looking at that because nobody likes to look at manuals. We also have, whatever this is, just talking about remote play, cool. A safety guide, which I'm sure nobody reads. Down here in the bottom should be the PlayStation TV. It's kind of tucked away in here pretty good. Man, this thing is tiny. It's even smaller than I was expecting. Let me get everything out of the way and we'll take a look at this thing. All right, guys, so here it is. Like I said, this thing is really small. I knew it was small, but I did not know it was this small. Just for a comparison, that's the PlayStation 3 controller, the DualShock 3. PlayStation TV is a lot smaller than that is, so this thing's tiny. So you got your embossed PlayStation logo on the top, on the front, it just says Sony. And then here on the back, we've got our power button, our power source, Ethernet, HDMI, USB, and I believe that's for um, a PS Vita game, either a PS Vita game or a memory card. Aha, so there we go. So right here I think is the memory card, and then over on the right side is your PlayStation Vita game slot. Put your games in that slot right there, and you can put your PS Vita memory card on the back right there. And of course on the bottom just says Sony and PlayStation TV again, model VTE 1001. Highly doubt they had more than one model since this thing was discontinued so quickly. All right guys, so let's go plug this thing in and see if it works. All right guys, so we got everything plugged up. Got our power cable plugged in here, ethernet cable, HDMI cable, and you might have seen when I first started this video, this little white light was flashing. But basically when I plugged in this power right here, a little white light came on. Um, so let's go ahead and turn the power on and see if it pops up on the screen. All right, so I hit the power button on the back, white light pops up, and hopefully something will pop up on the screen. There we go. No startup screen or anything, just says press the PS button. So I actually have a PS3 controller here that we're gonna use, and I also have a DualShock 4 PS4 controller we'll try as well. Alright, so I got my micro USB cable plugged in the back. We'll go ahead and plug the other side of my PS3 controller. Got that plugged in now. Press the center, press the center button and it pops up. Cool. 
We'll do English next. Enlarge this thing a little bit, bit more so it'll fit the screen. And there we are. Nice. So it's basically just like the PS Vita um, screen. I'm just going to leave it at January 1st, 2015, 12 a.m. All right. So I signed into my PlayStation account and let's go ahead and move forward. Basically, set up stuff. And I'm really interested to see what the home screen looks like. I expect it to look like a PS Vita based on what I just saw, but I'm not for sure. I mean, we're about we're about to find out. All right, so here we are. This is the home screen. The home screen is where you can start applications. You can put mini applications in your home screen. Let's exit out of that. Yep, so it looks just like the PS Vita. Comes with some preloaded stuff. So you got your PlayStation Store, browser, uh, party, messages, friends, trophies, PS4 link, videos, music, photos, email. <laughs> kind of funny you can do email in here. I wonder if anybody like religiously uses the email on the PlayStation Vita or the PlayStation TV. It'd be kind of funny. Uh, settings. Check out the settings real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like the PS Vita, which is pretty cool. I mean, the PS Vita had a pretty cool home screen. We're already updated. Theme and background. What can we change this thing to? Edit mode. Oh, that's just going to let me ar arrange the icons. So on the PlayStation Vita, you actually use your finger to swipe that away. On here, apparently, you just have to hold down the circle button, and it'll do it. And I'm trying to get back to the home screen now, but I'm not sure where I ended up. There we go, home. Okay. <laughs> kind of cool. They got a power button, software power button as well. Um, trophies, you can see my trophies on here. All right, so let's check out this PlayStation Store. All right, so here it is. Uh, looks just like the PS Vita PlayStation Store. Um, so we got PS Vita games for PS TV that are, f oh, that's not free to play. Here's free to play. We got three games. <laughs> I guess we'll download Pinball. All right, so while that downloads, um, we're gonna try out some games. Uh, I actually have some games here for the PS Vita, if I can focus on them any day now. Sly Cooper, Call of Duty, PlayStation All-Stars, Battle Royale, FIFA Soccer, and two memory cards. So we're going to try these out in the console and see if they work. Um, I don't remember if I said this earlier or not, but apparently only some PS Vita games work, so I'm not sure if any or all of these games will work or not, but we're about to find out. Alright, so first let's try out Sly Cooper. Got to put it in the slot in the side of the console, which is kind of hard to do with the camera in my hand, but we're going to we're gonna attempt to do it. Alright, got it in there. Let's do the final push. And Sly Cooper Thieves in Time is installing, so I guess it works. All right, so there we go. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Let's go ahead and put a, a, a memory card in as well and see if that works. All right, so I put the memory card in the back, and it says I have to restart to use it, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're loaded back up, and I'm hoping I can pull up my Sly Cooper save file. Oh, what the heck? Could not install. I bet you Sly Cooper is not compatible on the PlayStation TV. That sucks. Okay, so since I put the memory card in, it recognized some of my games. So it's got Call of Duty Black Ops down here. Let's go ahead and try that game out, and maybe that one will work. It's going to be really sad what if none of, none of my games work. And one other thing I want to point out, I don't know why, but they didn't put any like rubber feet on the bottom of this thing, which would have been nice because it just slides around. All right, so Call of Duty going in and could not install. Wow, that really sucks. 0 for 2. We got two, two games left. I'm um, not very hopeful right now because... Those two games are probably more popular than this. these last two games I'm about to put in, so who knows if they built in support for it. I think from my brief reading, I think part of the reason they didn't support certain games is because on the PlayStation Vita you have some touch controls and stuff, and I guess they couldn't implement that, but that one doesn't work either. Now, it's going to be funny if FIFA Soccer works because I'm not too hopeful on that. Oh, I think FIFA Soccer might work. It does. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. That was weird. The other three just did not work at all. This one says application cannot be used with this system. Application is supported by PlayStation TV. Please update the application. So how do I update? Error has occurred. Well, that sucks. None of my games work. All right, guys. So I came in here and tried to download Zen Pinball 2, but it says an error has occurred. So I can't do anything right now. Maybe I should look up that. Let me try that one more time. And I'm going to go search that error and see what it means. All right, so I looked this up, and apparently this is a memory card issue. So let me go ahead and try to take this memory card out. And I'm going to retry those other games I tried. I don't remember if that was the exact issue I had on the other ones, but it might be. So maybe those games were, do work, and it was just a memory card issue. All right, so I put it in the other memory card, and it came up with this pop-up that says, um, this has been used with another system. Do you want to link it with my network account? So let's say yes. I don't remember if it said that on my old memory card. It might have. I kind of just honestly just breezed through the menus and pressed DS on anything. So it might have said that, might have not. Maybe that's good news. We'll try FIFA Soccer again. It sounded like FIFA Soccer was not going to work, but yeah. Okay, so FIFA Soccer doesn't work. Now let's try out one of these other games now and see if they work now. All right, so first let's go back to Sly Cooper. Probably my favorite of the games I have for the PS Vita. Honestly, I haven't played my PS Vita in a long time just because 
I don't know, obvious reasons. A lot of other consoles to play. I just want one of these games to work. I'm just trying to test this console out. All right, so at least it's telling me now that it's not um, not compatible. So two games not compatible with the system. I know at least a couple of these games gave me that memory card error. So now it's at least recognizing the game and letting me try to open it up, but nope. So it's telling me to update the application, but you would think it would update the application on its own. Maybe not. I don't know what I'm clicking on up here. Aha, so maybe, maybe it will work. I just have to manually update the application. All right, so let me try to manually update this game. And once it's done, we'll try it out and see if it works. All right, so while I was waiting for the other download, I went ahead and put in Call of Duty and got the same pop-up basically saying that there's an update or if there is an update, it's needed because it gives me this uh, error. So there was an update that popped up and I pressed the download. So we're waiting for a couple of downloads now and it's gonna be a while. As you can tell, oh, actually that one's started going a little bit faster. Um, but I mean, it's only only 700 megabytes, so this is definitely a definitely an issue on PlayStation's end because my internet is fiber internet. This should be downloading in you know like less than a minute. Um, but we'll wait for it to finish up and we'll try out um, All Stars Battle Royale first. All right, guys, so we're back, and I actually went back and tried out FIFA Soccer and Sly Cooper to see if they had updates. And Sly Cooper had an update, FIFA Soccer did not. So FIFA Soccer I know does not work. Um, so I got all the three other games updating, but Sly Cooper already updated, so we're going to try that out now and see if it works. And by the way, I tried on my PS4 controller earlier, and it didn't work. I guess you can only use a PS4 controller on remote-played PS4 games, um, not just natively. Unless I was doing something wrong, but I plugged it in, and it was flashing, and it was not connecting, so that was interesting. Not sure why it's not working, but yeah, so it looks like Sly Cooper is working, so that's a good thing. We finally got a game loading. It's so interesting, man. It's, it's kind of a cool idea to have your uh, PlayStation Vita be able to play on the TV. And I mean, clearly it's working, so that's a good sign. I mean, I was I was a pretty big PS Vita fan when I got one. I mean, it's just, it's so cool that you can basically play a PS3 on the go. That's essentially what it was. And it's a pretty slick console, it had some nice analog sticks and stuff. Not a huge game library though, so it just, you know, I played it for a while, but it, it just didn't last too long. I really need to get it hacked or something. I'm honestly not sure if I can hack mine. Um, put some emulated uh, systems on it and stuff, but I don't know. Might be able to do that. Might just buy one and do an unboxing of it and test it out and stuff. Pretty cool. I mean, I can see why the PS TV didn't last. Um, you're basically limited to whatever PlayStation Vita can do. I know a few months ago that uh, Sony was going to discontinue all the PlayStation stores on the PS Vita, PSP, and PS3. I know PS3, they delayed that. PS Vita, I guess they delayed as well because I thought it was going to be gone by now. And it's clear clearly still here. But I mean, it, you know, if you have one of these things, you can spend all day just going through the stores and um, trying out games and stuff. And I mean, there's still some cool stuff to be had on here. You can apparently play music, I guess. I don't know. I guess you can load music onto your uh, your PS Vita SD card and play. Kind of cool. But I mean, at this point, there's not much point since everybody has phones and you can play on Spotify and Apple Music and all that good stuff. All right, guys. So I decided I wanted to actually try this out with a PS4 link. So turned on my PS4 Pro and got it updated and everything. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can connect to it. I already tried it once before I had my PS4 on. I literally just updated it so it should be able to detect it and apparently not. So let me go back to my PS4 and put in this code and see if it works. I don't know how the connection works. I don't know if it directly connects from device to device or if it's going through my Wi-Fi or if it goes through the Wi-Fi back to the PlayStation Network and then back to here. All right, cool. So it's detected, connected to the PS4 system and there we are. Nice. So yeah, I can use my PS3 controller on here and it actually lags not too bad. It looks okay. I mean, you can, oh, you can tell the FPS is not great. It's not terrible though. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if you could do remote play from your PS Vita to your PS4 and then remote play from your PS4 to your PS5 and you could play PS5 on your PS Vita. Oh, now that'd be cool. I might have to try that out in another video. I'm going to see if it, if it even pops up. Ooh, that, that might work. Um, but yeah, I mean, the PlayStation Week link works. Honestly, it's, you know, if you're really desperate for it, then you can use it, but you can clearly tell the, the frames are not great and the lag, a little bit of lag. Um, probably probably fine for some puzzle games and stuff, but for anything where you got to be quick with the draw, like a shooter or something, it's not going to work out great. So let's go ahead and go back to our PlayStation Vita. And I mean, yeah, we've tried out basically everything on here. Well, not not everything. There's still a bunch of other Vita apps and stuff, um, but we tried out the main stuff. And I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, but 200 bucks, definitely not cool. Uh, it was probably worth about 100 bucks when it originally came out, um, but you know, uh, given the limited ability of it and stuff, it just did not, did not last long, and there was only a select number of people that wanted it, so not, not a great console, not a great device, but kind of cool.
All right, guys, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like down below and leave a comment down below and also subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.